G'day guys, today's Woolworths grocery haul is under 170. I've increased our budget from 150 to 170. I'll put the exact screenshot here because they no longer give you the paper invoice. It's all online now, so I'll put that here for you. Alrighty, so in the last week we have drunk a lot of milk, so much so yesterday I had to go to IGA to get two liters because we had drunk through six liters and I didn't have any long lifes. So I've got six liters of milk here and a long life for the pantry. Then we've got a block of cheese, um, some shredded tasty cheese. I'm gonna be using this on the roasted cauliflower this week. Uh, butter, I went for a big butter. The pancake recipe that I'm using on Sunday at the moment from Nicole, the Simple Housewife, has butter in it. And we've had to double the mixture. We normally have like two leftover or so that we'll have for morning tea on the same day, but um, the standard mixture of just one cup of flour wasn't enough so we've had to double the recipe so we've got two cups of flour and we just need more butter and then we've got the eggs so when i take them out and put them in the door of the fridge i'm gonna have to check them and make sure they're not broken because see it's not actually sitting closed properly so hopefully they're okay in there and then dave's trying a new type of coffee um, this bushels Turkish style if he's tried it before this video goes up I'll leave a little note down the bottom um, on the screen there so you can see if he likes it or not so that's a new one 250 grams this weekend it's the AFL grand final so I grabbed these veggie chips so that we can enjoy that while we're enjoying the game um, I was gonna say who are you going for but by the time this video comes out it would have already happened so <laughs> um, whether it's the Tigers or the cats we'll see I'm going for the cats. I do love a good fairy tale. Um, Gary Ablett Jr. would love him to win a premiership and Paddy Dangerfield. Dave's an Adelaide Crow supporter, so he's a big fan of Paddy Dangerfield, although he's not a fan that he left the club. But <laughs> So we're going for the cats here. Um, Self-raising flour, got two kilos of that. Like I said, we were all out on Sunday for the pancakes, so I had to use um, plain flour so they didn't rise as much and they weren't as fluffy. So got two kilos of that. I thought I still had some from my Costco buy from last year. That self-raising flour, I think it was like five kilos, lasted so long, but I was all out. And then meals wise, I'm doing vegetarian nachos. So I grabbed one of those and then Dave is doing um, slow cooked pork and nachos. So I'm actually gonna bring mine to this week and I'll do it this Friday and his is next week. Dave's also doing lamb chops and warm bean salad. So he got some chops, they were $12. Um, so that's for 700 grams. Then got some paper towel, razors. We only just got razors, um, but they were $10. Whereas these were 50% off, so they're $5. So we've been happy with them. They're not gonna go out of date, so I grabbed those. And then, you know, I feel better. Averages out to $7.50 a packet. Thankfully in Victoria, we can get back to a bit of normality. So um, my brother's coming to stay. So I'm gonna be doing my mini raspberry cheesecakes, which are delicious. And I will film it this time and freeze it. I'll do it a couple of days early. So I'm not in kind of a rush at the last minute. They freeze really well. So that's what I've got the cream cheese for, the raspberries and the sour cream. Oh, mind you, Dave got light sour cream <laughs> for the pork. So um, it'll still be delicious, but I do normally just get full cream, sour cream. I mean, I'll go all out if you're going for a cheesecake. And then pork, so this piece of pork here, 2.2 kilograms, it's $10 a kilo, so $22. We will get lots of meals out of that. We'll at least get two, maybe two and a half. Then we got strawberries um, online. I couldn't actually get raspberries or blueberries. They weren't available. Capsicum, tomato, pears. Okay, so if you've got kids in the last week, my pears were starting to go off. We just had a few of them. So I cut them up, put them in with a little bit of water, stewed them, and then we had some on our breakfast, but I still had a heap, so I just froze them. And both kids, three-year-old and a one-year-old, loved having them. My daughter just had it on like a icy pole. And my son, we just used a spoon because I had it in a bowl. So he just had a spoon each time. Um, so that went really well. Then Dave grabbed the coriander. So today is actually Wednesday and he needs it next Monday. So I'm going to prepare that and make sure it lasts a bit longer. I think there's a couple of ways you can do it, um, whether I chop it up and put it in an air, airtight container, or I'm not sure, I will have to Google that and work out the best way. Then bananas, there's 11 bananas here, we love them. 
And then cauliflower, whole cauliflower roasted is what I'm going to be doing as well. And I'm going to share that with you in a what's for dinner episode coming up. Um, because it's great. It gets, you get a couple of meals out of it and the kids love it. So yay. And then these butternut snap cookies, they're for the bottom of the cheesecakes. Beans, so here is um, 250 grams, I think. But look how much of it is. I think it's under a dollar too. So they're really cheap at the moment. I Dave's using that for the warm bean salad, but I will grab a couple for a snack for my three-year-old. Not with my one-year-old. He's not really into that. He'll just bite it and then spit it out and put it on the floor. But she likes crunching them and eating them. And then I'm doing pork lettuce cups. I forgot to get um, the vermicelli noodles. So I couldn't do it last week. So I've still got the lettuce in there. It's still okay. Same with the spring onions. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to be doing water chestnuts and some salted peanuts. I just crushed these up in the pool chopper from Kmart. Done a whole video on it. We love it here and the kids can do it my three-year-old doesn't know worries and one-year-old i just hold it and he pulls it as well so it is a great way to get them involved in the kitchen and then for that dish i needed some sweet soy sauce and some worcestershire sauce hmm, might have actually said that right who knows okay so that's what i got um i'll bring it over here to my on the fridge we've got our monthly meal plan so this week is mexican pulled pork nachos as well as lamb chops with warm beef salad. You'll notice that although I've got written on here, I'm doing chicken parma and chicken schnitzel. Um, I did that at the start of the month, so they've been frozen and ready to go. And I'm gonna do the vegetarian nachos here. So we'll just see. We've also still got some pasta, I'll show you. We've also still got some roasted pumpkin and feta ravioli. So that's the meal plan. But as I go on these days, I'm not as strict as what I used to be. Um, as long as it's kind of in there, I'm happy. We've also got some sausages, so I can always do curried sausages. Or, you know, at the moment, Bunnings isn't having sausages. So we do like to do sausages on the barbecue here. I didn't get any frozen veggies. <laughs> okay, so that's just an activity that I've set up that we're going to be doing. Um, so I've got plenty of that. So that's why I haven't got any this week. Thanks heaps for watching guys. If there is a particular recipe you want to see in the what's for dinner, please let me know below. Um, even if it's one of Dave's, I can always ask him to record one. Thanks for watching. Bye.